Yo, this video, I just really want to talk about the seventh inning program, the season's winding down here in MLB and everything like that. So I just kind of want to talk about the seventh inning program, what to expect coming up and all that good stuff. If you guys want to leave a like on this video, that would be awesome. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers. The comment section, what I really want to see in the comments for this video. Okay, let me know anybody who hasn't gotten a good card but deserves one, right? Like for me, the big one that comes to mind is 99 Hank Aaron. He is a new legend this year. It is nearly October. You know, it's more than halfway through September, right? And we don't have a 99 Hank Aaron when he was a new legend this year. I need me a max down juiced up Hank Aaron, man. I really need that card. And then number two, I want to see 99 Albert, which I don't think we'll get for a little while because we just got his other one. But 99 Griffey as well. There's a lot of cards. Willie Mays, Babe Ruth. There's so many cards that we don't have yet. So in the comment section, I really want to see it just filled with players who don't have a good card yet but deserve one there's tons especially with the addition of milestone man you're getting players who have never had a 99 and mlb the show before finally get their first 99 so it's awesome to see i feel like there's just endless possibilities pretty much for down in the comments who you guys want to see come in to mlb the show soon and the reason i'm saying that especially with hank aaron is because as y'all can see on the calendar it says on Sept September 24th when that seventh inning program drops, the wait is almost over. Who have we been waiting for? Is this referring to Hank Aaron? Me personally, I really hope it is because I've been waiting so long for him. But there's plenty of guys, like I said, Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, uh, Albert Pujols, obviously. But there's just so many cards where you could give him a 99 and we just haven't gotten that card yet. So I'm really curious to see who y'all want to be seeing and that seventh inning program should be getting a pitcher, probably two position players as well and everything like that. So I have a feeling it should be good. I feel like the content's been really good recently. We had a good roster update, lots of upgrades and downgrades in there. The event has insane rewards and stuff. And the Team Affinity Season 4, I felt like, was pretty great with content as well. So I feel like overall, plus that headliner, Kerry Wood, but he doesn't have a cutter. I feel like overall, though, we've been having some really good content drops, and I'm expecting the seventh inning program to be no different so i want to just go through the teams and maybe see if there's you know some players where i'm kind of thinking like hey that could be a good guy or maybe not obviously focus on the dudes like willie mays and babe ruth i'm going to go back to mlb the show 20 here in just a second as well and just kind of see some guys from there i think we might do that next up i wanted to have a gameplay video today but I just didn't have enough time. I had my graduation today. Uh, so I just ended up not having enough time. Wasn't really home all day. So I decided, hey, I've been wanting to talk about this. We're going to talk about it a little bit more later in the week. Maybe have my own personal predictions video. Let's talk about some other stuff. But I really wanted to just get a conversation going. See who you guys want to see and everything like that. And a couple things before we get into the meat of this video. Is the final roster update of the season is going to happen two weeks from the 17th. You know, just a few days ago so two weeks from then we will have our final roster update if i'm not mistaken of the season and then after the playoffs they do one final roster update where just the players on playoff teams i think are the only ones involved if anyone had a really good playoffs or anything like that they'll boost them up even more so we got two roster updates left in the season i'm expecting them to be pretty big and that's something to look out for as well plus they'll be doing some postseason content once we get there and everything a little program stuff like that which should be pretty sick and i'm hoping for moments extreme conquest extreme showdown extreme stuff like that coming soon as well that's something i really want to see maybe once the season's over for them to drop that as something to do so i'm right now going to go to mlb the show 20 and just see some cards some max down overalls from there that we haven't seen yet this year and see who maybe we could be hoping for for that seventh inning program i mean just looking at my team we've gotten some of these guys pretty recently this is mlb 20 right here every time i feel like i'm being flashbanged man i'm so glad they went to those dark menus but 99 mike trout i've been waiting for him 99 griffey i've been waiting 99 tatis bring him back i would love it if they brought this card back that'd be so awesome you know um i think we got stan mutual i feel like we already did there's hornsby a george springer postseason card 99 babe ruth Give me finest one soto there there's just so many options that i feel like they could bring back or just versions of cards right because i feel like someone like 99 griffey it's not necessarily bringing him back like it would be tatis right uh but it's a card that i've been waiting for now the wait is over to me i feel like it has to be somebody big like a griffey like a willie mays like a hank aaron 
who hasn't had his 99 overall yet. So I'm really curious to see if all three guys are super, super big names, if it's just really one of them, stuff like that. We can go to my inventory here on MLB The Show 20 and just check out, you know, the flashbacks of cards and kind of see what's up. You know, there's guys like Cal Ripken Jr. We could get a good Manny Machado at some point. And I'm, I'm going to sound stupid at some point, right? If there's someone who's not in the game anymore or someone who's already gotten a card. I don't know all the cards off the top of my head that are in the game, but someone like Ted Williams, do we have, is he even in the game? Have we gotten a good Ted Williams? You know, I feel like we haven't, but uh, there's just so many cards that I feel like they could do. I feel like with postseason cards, we're going to see some of these dropped during the postseason or after the postseason, stuff like that. We finally got, it took forever, but we finally got the 99 Mickey Mantle. I don't think we have 99 Lou Gehrig yet. I've been waiting for him for a while. He was the extreme reward and I'm going to be 20 if I'm not mistaken. I never got him. I just, I couldn't get myself to do conquest extreme and everything like that i forgot about fred mcgriff honestly i forgot i forgot about him uh josh donaldson we've got in that car chris sale oh he could be somebody too i feel like a lot of people would actually like using him as a pitcher in ranked season so if, if there's any players or cars that you see that you want to have come back or players that we're thinking of you know definitely as you see them popping up on these teams drop them in the comments man i, I want to see tons and tons of names dropped in that comments i feel like we will maybe get a finest salvi this year i don't know who else would really get it from the uh from the royals but the season he's having he's got to get a card he's got to get a card to celebrate the season he's having I, I just feel like there's no way he doesn't get something whether it's the finest or whatever it is and did we ever get jimmy fox I know he's got a diamond, but did we ever get his 99 version? I actually don't remember. See, this is this is I need to I need to really get myself familiar with the cards we do or don't have, right? We just got 99 Pudge, but there's guys where I feel like we have it, but I also don't want to sound stupid, you know, like Billy Wagner. I know we have a diamond version of him, but I don't think we have that 99 overall card. So there's just tons and tons of players that I feel like they need to get to us that they haven't gotten us yet. We just got Gary Sheffield, which was super sick to see. Uh, I feel like I haven't even seen any Andre Dawson cars this year, but again, I'm potentially sounding real stupid right now, saying some stuff like that as well. We just got that Jimmy Rollins card. I felt like uh, I, I felt like I was pretty happy to see that. I love me some diamond switch hitters. We just got the Jake Arrieta no hitter again. Milestone cars this year are huge. There's so many cars that they can give us that they just haven't been able to in the past. Now that they have those milestone cards, players who did not have a 99 could now finally have a 99 overall card so i think that's super sick to see we just got bob gibson we don't have albert yet is hornsby even in the game i'm not sure we got stan musial oh man i uh, dude i forgot how many cars they had in, in mlb 20 there's a lot of these that i forgot about that i just sadly did not get either oh man i was hoping for fine as belly but the mvp one's not bad i feel like the, i feel like this one has a little bit better numbers though than his mvp but his mvp is not bad by any means uh, I was just hoping, I personally wanted to see him bring back the finest car, but man, there's some good ones here. Willie Mays, that's who I, I really want to see Willie Mays. I know they're not probably going to do two outfielders, but I want like Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, and then some pitcher, maybe 99 Chris Sale. And just look at the bosses that we had for the six inning program. 99 Matt Kemp, I think that was his first 99 ever. 99 Pedro Martinez, right? He was a new legend this year. We got his 99 version. So with them saying the wait is over, I feel like it's got to be one of these new legends like Hank Aaron and then 99 George Brett. So we had a really good set of cards for the sixth inning program. And I feel like it's got to only get better. I feel like for the seventh inning program, it's only going to get better. I feel like we're only going to go up for these inning programs. One thing that I would not be surprised with as well. Okay. Something that I think is pretty huge. And if you guys are watching the video right now, you made it this far. Y'all some real MVPs, but I want to know your thoughts. Okay. Would you want to see rewind packs? So if we go to the event and see the event, they finally added rewind packs in. So you can get some of the past rewards. For example, Nick Marcakis, he was like 200,000 stubs. I didn't want to buy him. I'm going to wait a little bit, maybe try to get the wins myself, but his price is slowly going down. Same with a lot of these other cards. So would you want to see ending program rewind packs dropping? Maybe first, second, third inning bosses. Would you guys want to see any of those coming back? I know it's not quite the same as, as event rewards and stuff for the values of the cards, prices, and everything. 
but is that something that you maybe want to see in the sixth inning program is there any specific packs you maybe want to see i feel like it should be the best program yet we had some all-star game home run derby i wouldn't be surprised to see those again maybe field of dreams packs thrown in there i feel like it should be a really good program and i feel like we should get some really good cards i hope you guys like this video again i know it's just kind of me talking and throwing out ideas saying what's on my mind but i like doing these i like having a conversation with y'all in the comments seeing y'all's ideas and stuff like that just seeing what you want to see from mlb the show so i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching hope you have a great day peace out